It's Memorial Day, well, weekend. It's Monday now, so it's actually Memorial Day. And I was asking my husband, what are people doing today? You know, is it different than years in the past? So I wanted to, I wanted to ask you, you know, do you, are you doing a cookout? Are you, you know, having some grilling time with your family, or is it just another day at home? You know, what's going on at your house? So I want to know. Where we live, we live in Arkansas, but we're not really close to any of our family because most of our family is in Louisiana and we have some family in Mississippi. But that means that we don't have a lot of family gatherings, especially, you know, a lot of family get together or on the holidays, especially if they live close together. Um, and so Memorial Day is usually a day that a lot of families get together and they have, you know, a grill time, dad's cooking, you know, different things like that. Um, but because our circumstances are a lot different this year, and I think that a lot of families are getting together more now since a lot of restrictions are kind of opening up. So maybe you are having some sort of a small gathering. Um, so I wanted to know, what are you doing? So obviously, if you're in this group, you want to be a healthy mama, or maybe you are a healthy mama and you want to stay that way. So I wanted to talk about how can we stay healthy, not only today, but every time we have a party or something like that, um, like I said, more things are opening up, and so more people are getting together. But there's a lot, especially whenever you try to start to eat healthy, you realize, wow, there are so many parties and events and date nights and birthdays and anniversaries and all sorts of times when we are used to maybe splurging a little bit, and you usually don't realize it unless you're trying to make an effort to eat healthy, and then you realize, oh my goodness, like going on that maybe feels like a setback or something or makes you feel like you're stressed because you want to lose weight, you want to get results, but you also want to enjoy this social event and not stress about it. So I wanted to share some tips to help you stay on track, enjoy your holiday, um, and, and eat and enjoy food, but without the guilt. And so I'm going to share some different tips. Now, I personally do eat low carb. Um, I've gone as far as eating keto, which is a little bit more strict. You know, usually with keto, you, you stay below 50 grams of carb. Just low carb is usually, I've seen it less than 150. I definitely uh, eat less than that. But if I'm tracking my carbs, it's usually less than 100 um, carbs per day. But I honestly, I don't even track anything anymore. And once you get in a routine, um, um, what, what you know what to eat to stay on track then I just don't track anymore but if you are just starting and you want to know what foods you know have carbs and different things like that then you might want to track it and a really good good app I've used for many many years is my fitness pal it's free you can put in your information in there and what macros you want to follow macros are like your fat your protein um, and your carbs, you can track those, um, but it takes a little bit of effort to put your food in there, and I don't want to do that anymore. And so now I kind of have a routine of like what snacks um, are low carb, and what are some meals that we eat to stay low carb. Um, how do I fix my plate versus how do I fix my kid's plate? Looks a little different. Um, and so I wanted to share some tips to help you stay low carb even at parties. This works for if you're you know eating out or anything like that. So we're going to focus on the basics of how to stay low carb when you're not eating at home. So the first thing that I want you to do is plan ahead. You know, if I'm going to a party or something like that, and I don't know what kind of food is going to be there, I don't want to show up hungry. And so I always want to eat something before I go. And so this may be, you know, something as simple as like a Greek yogurt with some nuts or maybe something. Um, if you, you want to fill up with some, uh, cheese or something like that, some nuts and cheese, something with a little bit more protein and fat, just something so that you're not starving when you arrive because you're never going to make healthy choices whenever you're hungry because that's whenever we go shopping and we buy, you know, the whole aisle eight, you know, and so think about what can you eat before you go? If you're going out on a date or something like that, if you're going out for a birthday party or anniversary, you can do the same thing. You can eat a little snack before you go. So by the time that you get there and your food is there, you can, you're not starving, you know, and you can, you know, even save half of your food for later for the next day. You could take, uh, what to go um, half of your order. And so that way you're not eating overeating because you're so hungry. So that's how I plan ahead. Another thing is to plan ahead is just to make sure that you're well hydrated, 
this is a healthy mom tip I always share is just make sure that you're drinking water throughout the day so you're not dehydrated because that's another thing that you're not going to feel your best. You're not going to make healthy choices whenever you are thirsty because a lot of times our body uh, miscommunicates and so it sends a signal and we think that we're hungry when sometimes we actually are thirsty. So always make sure that you drink water, drink a gallon of water, drink half your weight um, in ounces of water if you want to get really specific, but make sure that you're drinking water every day. And sometimes I will make sure that I bring my water with me so that I know that I'm going to have water while I'm there so that I'm not going to go straight to the food. I'll drink some water first, you know, and, and visit and everything before I, you know, start snacking. So, so let's get into what to eat. Now, if you're thinking about like a cookout or grill or something like that, there's usually a lot of meat. And so I feel like sometimes it's easier to stay on track whenever it's something like that because you can grab some meat, grab some veggies and make like an open face burger and just enjoy that. It's low carb. Um, I love open face burgers. You can even do cheese and lettuce and tomatoes and just make this little like burger salad. Um, I know when I was pregnant, I ate that almost every single day was a burger salad because I just loved it. It filled me up, um, but I also got all the protein I needed and all the vegetables and everything. It was so good. So if you're going, that's usually something that's really easy. You don't even have to do anything special um, at a cookout. Now you can bring some sides with you a lot of times. Um, we have potlucks and things where you can bring some sides with you to make sure that you'll have some low carb snacks um, and sides, you know, maybe some like cheesy cauliflower instead of macaroni and cheese. Um, there's lots of different like healthy swaps that you can do to stay low carb. And so all of these are specific for cooking out type things because that's typically what's going on this time of year. Now, if you are going out to eat, you know, skip the bread baskets, you skip the chips, because a lot of times we eat like over a thousand uh, calories of the bread basket and the chips and everything before our food even arrives. So skip that, fill up on the meat. Like what I said, think about what's your main dish going to be. Don't pick your pasta, you know, pick salmon or chicken or steak or something like that. Think about your main dish. A lot of times restaurants will have like a steamed veggie or broccoli side or something like that, a low carb option. You can get a salad as a side. All of these fit together. They're so good and filling um, without the carbs, without the guilt. So I always say fill up on the right things because I do not believe in, you know, feeling hungry and feeling like you're deprived. So you have to make sure that you're filling up on the right things. And what our body stays full with is whenever we eat lots of healthy fat. And so if you find yourself hungry a lot, then it means you're probably not eating enough fat. Because for many years, so many people talked about being on a low fat diet and they didn't realize it was actually doing more harm than good because our body needs healthy fats. And so whenever you're feeling hungry and you're feeling the cravings and everything like that, the very first thing I would do is drink water. <laughs> the next thing I would do is think about how can I eat some healthy fat? And so I shared there's you know nuts and cheese and things like that, but there's also like fat bombs that you can, uh, my favorite one is like a cookie dough fat fat bomb so it tastes like you're eating cookie dough but it's full of healthy fat so that you can only have like two and you're full and you felt like you had a cookie dough and it helps you crush your sugar cravings and um, fill up on the right things because that's the thing you want to stay full and fill up on the right things so that you're not making you're not feeling deprived you're not hungry, you're not dealing with the cravings and you're filling up on the right things so that your body um, can actually burn more fat because that's what you want. Now, this is the last tip. I always share this is to give yourself grace because what if you slip up? It's just one day, it's okay. The problem is, is whenever we slip up and then we're like, oh well, and then we, you know, we're on a splurge for the next two weeks. You know, that's whenever it's not healthy, it's not good. But it's okay to splurge every once in a while. And a lot of people say, especially one time a week, is healthy for your metabolism to kind of throw it off and be like, oh, wow, okay, we're eating carbs today. Um, you can call it a refuel day, um, if, especially if you're somebody who's active. You know, you might want to do just an extra uh, workout or something like that to help you get back on track. But believe me, you are not going to completely derail your body by having a splurge and so i like i said a lot of people have a one day a week where they put, they 
splurge on purpose as like a carb loading, you know, refuel day. Um, and so it's fine. So give yourself grace. Um, I would just say be mindful because even whenever we are splurging, you can go overboard or you can uh, just have like, you know, a carb day where you're, you know, maybe eating just a little bit more, you know, and so that doesn't mean that you're going to bake a pan of brownies and eat the whole pan. It means that you might enjoy one brownie and then that's your sweet for the day, you know, so you know what's kind of a balance, a healthy balance, you know, carb day and what is a complete splurge that does derail you. So make sure that you stay mindful. Um, and a lot of that is just mindful eating, which I have a, a free ebook that's all about mindful eating. And it is just like not letting food control you. Cause a lot of times we let food control us. And so that we're like out of control because we're either, you know, not eating or we're, you know, eating all the wrong things. But if you're mindful and you know, okay, well, I'm going to enjoy this brownie and I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy every single bite. And then I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat a second one. Like I'm, I'm, gonna enjoy it and that's okay and so mindful eating is just like enjoying every bite being aware and not out of control and where like the splurge turns into eating a whole box of cookies or whatever anyway so if you want that it's a free ebook um, you can say mindful eating um, and I can send it to you um, but I wanted to let you know um, you know sometimes I do splurge like I said I do it you know at least once a week we have date night or something like that or the kids want pizza and I'm just like okay that sounds good you know and so sometimes we splurge and so there's some products that help me um, block some extra carbs and fat naturally this is something that I started taking probably about six years ago and it really was good for me because um, it was because I do like to splurge but I don't want to gain weight it was helpful for me to stay on track even whenever I would do have that you know once a week kind of splurge or whatever and so um, so sometimes there's products that help us stay on track or help us get back on track um, and this is one thing that I use and so it's just like a, a fat blocker a carb blocker um, that you take after you eat and that's something that's kind of helpful because whenever you go to a party or something like that you don't know exactly how you're gonna eat and so if you do splurge, it's okay. And so um, anyways, if you wanted to more information about what I use or what I recommend, you can shoot me a message and I would, um, and I can tell you more about that. But I hope that you guys are having a great day. Um, the sun is trying to come out here, but I, I don't know if you saw my post. We got stuck in a rainstorm yesterday, like literally soaked. Uh, the baby was soaked. Everything was soaked. My shoes were soaked. So now I'm a little hesitant to go out on the trails because I checked my app before um, and it said no, um, you know, no uh, rain in the forecast. I even checked the radar and then we were halfway through our walk and it started, well, it started sprinkling and then we're like, oh, okay, maybe this is just a little summer shower. And then we're like, okay, we probably need to go ahead and head back to the car. So we turned around mid stroll through the park and, uh, and then while we were on our way back, it started you know pouring and thundering and i didn't see the lightning but it was the loud by the time we got to the car it started hailing and so it was just kind of uh, exciting it was very exciting i'm not sure i was scared there was a moment when it started hailing and i was like we need to get under shelter because i don't want to be in the car while it's hailing out in this parking lot so then we drove and we got under um a covered parking garage and it stayed there until the storm went through so sometimes Sometimes we plan for an, an amazing walk in the park and we get rained on and that's just what happens. Sometimes we have to pivot. But uh, hopefully you're not going to get stuck in a rainstorm today and hopefully you have sunny weather so you can enjoy the outdoors with your family, have some time together um, and celebrate the freedom that we have because of the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice. You know, And so it is Memorial Day where we remember all those people that really fought for what they believed in. And, and it's such an amazing time that we have this day that we can, um, that we can honor them. And part of the way that they, that we can honor them is to remember what they did. And so I hope you guys are spending today with your family.